Today we're going to be talking about sales ploys and tactics to try to get you to waste money on things you don't need. Coming up. Hello everybody, my name's Justin. If you don't know me, I'm a certified mobile RV repair tech and my YouTube channel is about all things RV. If that is something that would interest you, please consider subscribing. Today we're going to be talking about toilet paper. I see these crazy debates taking place on the interwebs about everyone yelling and screaming about different toilet paper that can and cannot go inside of an RV. We just got to clear some simple things up. I was going to make a video that showed how each of these toilet papers responded to water in a jar, but then I realized that that's not a very accurate test. There's other YouTube videos that you can check out if you want to search for it that do that. But for me, I'm not going to be putting waste in any of these jars, um, which would have other chemicals that will help break this toilet paper down. Um, you know, enzymes and things like that will also break this toilet paper down. So putting it in, to in water, I don't think is just an adequate example of how this toilet paper will function inside your septic system. My first point about toilet paper in your septic system is about the diameter of your drain line. In your residential toilet, where you, when you flush your toilet, it goes into a pipe that is three inches in diameter, straight from that toilet. It may get bigger under your foundation to a four inch line where multiple toilets are gonna come together, but it's a three inch drain coming from your residential drain at home. When you're in your RV, the drain coming from your toilet is also three inches. So there's no reason that you would need a special kind of toilet paper to go into a smaller pipe because there is no smaller pipe in your RV. It's a three inch diameter line, just like it is at home. My second point, with dealing with toilet paper in your RV is the septic safe labels that they put on your toilet on your toilet paper. Um, this is the normal Scott's brand, but Scott's makes a Scott's septic safe version of this toilet paper, which is a little bit more expensive. I find that confusing because on every one of the Scott's packages, you will find right here, clog free and septic safe. So I don't understand why putting in bigger font that it's Scott Septic Safe brand makes it any more safe than this Scott Septic Safe toilet paper. On my RV toilet paper, this will also say Septic Safe. And on my everyday toilet paper that my family uses, my kids ripped into this because apparently we ran out. It says right here on the back, Charmin is safe for your sewer and septic system. So all of this toilet paper that you can buy is safe for your septic system. Why is that? Because toilet paper is designed to go into a septic system. It, it's baffling to me that people think that you need to see it in bigger letters and that it would make it safe for your RV septic system or your home septic system. All toilet paper is designed to go into a septic system. That's what toilet paper does. And it's designed to break up inside that septic system so that it doesn't cause any clogs. All these also say clog free, clog safe. So there's no difference between your RV, your Scott septic safe, and your Scott's normal brand. Toilet paper is designed to do what toilet paper does and toilet paper is gonna do as toilet paper does. All toilet paper is designed to break down. That's what it's built to do. You're supposed to use it, flush it down the toilet, and then it's gonna break down in your septic system. So there's no reason to buy any special kind of toilet paper that's specially designed to break down. You don't have to buy an enzyme to put into your black tank that'll specially break down your toilet paper because the toilet paper is already designed to do that. You don't have to buy any chemicals or anything to put down your septic system to break down any toilet paper. You just need water and waste going into your septic system and your, sep your toilet paper will break down. So, I don't buy RV toilet paper for my RV. I don't buy Scott's Septic Safe, which I see all over forums, to go inside my RV. I, I literally just use whatever toilet paper that my wife buys at the store, which is recently the Charmin Ultra Strong two-ply toilet paper. This is what we put in our septic system. We have a vacuum flush system, which means that we have a little bit more suction coming out of our toilet. There's a, a vacuum tank that goes under our RV, that, which you know pulls all the waste down. Um, so our lines are actually a little bit smaller than most RVs. I think I have more like a two inch line coming from my toilet, which, you know, then goes into a bigger black uh, line like everyone else has a three inch. But if you have just the straight gravity fed toilet, like most RVs do, and 90% of you are going to have that, it's just a big three inch hole that goes straight into your black tank. Now, 
I've been putting this in our original RVs, our older RVs, which are travel trailers, that just have that three inch line that goes straight to the black tank. So for me, a certified mobile RV repair tech, I haven't had any clogs or any issues with my septic system using normal toilet paper, and you can too. You don't have to be one of those people putting toilet paper in the garbage can or buying some specially expensive toilet paper that's designed for your system. You don't need it. You can put regular toilet paper in your system. Well, thank you guys for watching and taking the time. I, I really hope that this video helps you out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you'd like to watch a video about how I take care of my septic system, please watch this video here on the bottom. If you'd like to watch a video about something funny that I've noticed, some, uh, some work that a mobile tech did that was pretty surprising, check out this video up here. I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you.